up YouTube? It's your boy Shy Mai, and today we're going to call the G12. There's no videos out there on how to code the G12, so we about to get into it. First thing you're gonna need, obviously, is the dongle. I have this one, I have a VP2, but the VP don't code all of the options in the G12, so just so you know, it does code some, but like things like seat belt reminder and stuff, it can't code. So, you know, if you're gonna get one of these, get this one, or I mean, at least this one. Okay, so I got it plugged in in the ODB. So we're gonna cut the car on. You want it at least in ACC mode, but I got it in, I got it all the way on for this particular one. So what we're gonna do is get the phone and we're gonna connect to Beamer code. Now first, you wanna be in airplane mode and you want to disconnect any other Bluetooth connections. So normally I'm connected to the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and just connect. Uh, don't mind the music. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. It's already connected. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and connect. It's already selected on the 7 Series, the G12. Go ahead and continue. It's going to take a minute to load up. It's reading the VIN and everything, all of the features. So as that's loaded up, I'm going to show you what we coded. So you see the old ID5 screen. We go upgrade to the new ID6 screen. I'm going to show you how to do that in expert mode. Almost there. So we're going to go into the head unit. Okay, so once we're in the head unit, we're going to go ahead into expert mode. Depending on which version of um, Viva code you have, and uh, if you have Android or not, it will be at the bottom or switch at the top. So what we're going into is the first menu, HMI, and then we're going to scroll all the way down till we get to HMI version. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's see. So we're looking for HMI version ID. We click on that, and right now you see it's at ID 5 plus. We're going to go ahead and move it to ID. Uh, six light actually. Okay, and then we're gonna go back, scroll all the way back, and then we're gonna go to code. So once it start coding, the screen probably will go blank. And don't be um, worried if you get like some errors after finish coding you know, like a malfunction or something. Once you cut the car off and on, it should go away. But right now it's coding. So we're gonna see what it changes. I changed a lot of other features in there. I, I scratched the screen. Um, I made the resolution bigger. Um, I'll make some more videos and show you how to do that and show you some of the um, features that it do after you code it. But I just wanted to give you guys a video on how to make the um, screen the tiles bigger all right so it says coded successfully and it should so right there that error shouldn't be or that warning shouldn't be popping up because I already coded it out before but it, it won't anymore but now you can see the new tiles so one of the cool features here now is if I press this button in the top corner uh, it'll make them where I can actually move which tile I won't wear. So in this particular case, I want um, navigation or the connected drive as my second tile as opposed to the, fir the first tile. Uh, let me do that again. And I want the navigation as my third tile. So I click it and move it over. Then the same thing with the music. I prefer it to be the first tile. 
So that's just some of the features. But as you can see now, I, I have fully ID6 uh, version up there. I'm gonna make some more videos on how to um, add um, the stretch screen and some of the other features that it do now.